Israel is moving ahead with its own vaccination campaign, which kicked off over the weekend. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu was the first to get the job. Correspondent Stephanie Fried reports from Tel Aviv. Henri is suspected to be suffering from coronavirus. He lives not too far from the hospital, but he's been admitted as a precaution because he's 81 years old and as a vulnerable person, he's being looked after while he waits for the results of his COVID-19 test. This hospital has been able to free up capacity to create special COVID-19 wards by moving non-coronavirus patients into other parts of the building. But in March, during the first wave of infections, things were very different. The first wave came quickly and it was monstrous in terms of numbers, in terms of hospital admissions. We had people on ventilators and it was very serious. It happened so quickly and on a mass scale. This woman has been on the COVID-19 ward for a week. She also has a neurological condition. Now she's free from the coronavirus, she's able to leave the ward and return to specialist care. This is one of two specific wards in this hospital only dealing with coronavirus patients, but there are also people suffering from COVID-19 in neurology and in intensive care. As the numbers of cases and deaths have continued to rise, one side effect has been the personal pressures on nursing staff on the front line of the fight against a new disease and a deadly pandemic. It was very hard. We had a lot of deaths and when we go home we have to try to sleep after dealing with all this. We were also afraid we would catch it at the start and we didn't know if we might die if we caught it. Now we're used to it so we're less afraid and there's not as much fear. This time of year is especially tough for people in the hospital who can't spend time with family and healthcare staff who have to work over the holidays. The lead nurse has made special baubles this year to recognize her colleagues' efforts. The doctors and nurses say they're ready for a third wave in the new year, but warn that despite their preparations, a surge in post-holiday cases would place renewed pressure on a hospital system that is fast approaching a whole year of dealing with the pandemic.